Hi, my name's Simon from Motodro. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this 1968 on an F Land Rover Series 2A 88 inch 2.25 petrol soft top that was restored a couple of years ago onto a galvanised chassis. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, so we're looking on this uh, rather pleasant restored 1968 on an F. Land Rover Series 2, 88 inch petrol soft top, seven seater. Um, finished in mid gray, which is really nice color for these actually. It makes a change from the usual green or blue. Um, this one is on a Richards galvanized chassis. Uh, it's also got uh, 750 by 16 matching set of five fairly new tires on it. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Mud flaps front and rear, wing mirrors, razor edge bonnet. Bonnet mounted spare. Um, looks like the doors were new as part of the restoration and it's got the very expensive Rocky Mountain aluminium door tops. Nice new tilt on it as well. It's got twin rear bench seats in it making it a seven seater and inside it has some um, Three deluxe seats across the front, inertia wheel front seat belts for the driver and front passenger. So it's got the, the seat belt bar there. So nice modern seat belts in it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's got the Smith's round heater. Now, as you can see on here, it looks like the Speedo is packed up, uh, showing 99,000 miles. Because the Speedo is packed up, we're going to have to sell it as mileage known incorrect. But um, according to the last owner, it's only just failed. Uh, I think we're going to have to put a new Speedo in it because unfortunately where the, 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 the needle is like that I think it's the head that's failed rather than the cable but um, so we're going to have to pop a new Speedo in at some point which of course will never read correctly because it's got 750 by 16 tyres on it instead of the usual 600s but never mind um, it's got front floor mats as well all the correct sort of late 68 um, parts are in place the deep sills uh, the later style steering wheel um, the key start and the heater and what have you are all uh, all correct for the for the era um, it's also running a uh, the correct prefix engine for its age which is possibly the original there's no real way of telling but um, uh, it's certainly period correct and i did we took it in part exchange yesterday. I did about 100 miles in it, including through heavy London traffic. And um, yeah, absolutely superb. Just got on with the job. Oh, it's also got parabolic springs on it. Anyway, let's start at the front. Now, when it was restored, which I think was either in between 2020 and 2021, I think. Um, let's say put on a Richards galvanised chassis. It has been properly sprayed. There is Paint is a little bit orange peely in places. You see a bit of orange peel on the top of the offside front wing here, but um, it's pretty much how it would have been when it left the factory, in fairness. See, it's got a new radiator in there as well. It's got the correct uh, inset lights on it. Um, looking down the near side, all looks pretty straight down there. That door rubber at the um, on the A-post does stick out a little bit, but at least it has got rubbers on there. Most of them don't. Um, and we will show you underneath here, although it's a bit academic as it's on a Richards galvanised chassis, but uh, you can see what it's uh, like under there. Just working our way up the A post here, and then scuttle corner, and then across there. Screens look to be in good shape. Doors, as I say, they look as if they're new. A little bit of paint loss just on the modesty cover there from people getting in and out of it and then as you say back side of the doors I'll show you the footwells dirty mark on the seat carrying something a bit grubby um, and in the back as I say twin bench seats tilt is in excellent shape a 
again we'll go under the back end here Light. I don't know if this is post restoration or pre, but uh, it's obviously been the corner here has been backed into something, uh, which is the standard Land Rover place for doing exactly that. Um, slightly crinkled trim here on the corner. A little bit of black overspray just there. Where that's from. Um, tailgate looks like it's pretty new as well because it hasn't got the dent there they normally do. Looking down the offside, again, um, paint is, you know, reasonably good. Not absolutely concourse standard, but it's uh, it's pretty good. There's a very slight depression in the offside rear wing just here. I can just feel it. You can't actually see it on the video, but I can feel a very slight depression just there. Um, again, look under here. Tiny sort of parking dink just there on the top of the barrel side on the driver's door. Hasn't broken the paint. And again, we'll go up the A post and then the scuttle corner. Offside front wing and under here. And then inside, as I say, drive doors look pretty new. Um, I'm told the last owner put this, um, what do you call it, gorilla tape around the steering column uh, rubber because a draft was coming in there, so he's covered that up with uh, um, with gorilla tape. Don't know why I bought one of these if you didn't like drafts, but there you go. Um, It's just, yeah, it's nice. Someone else has done all the hard work, so the new runner doesn't have to. Let's say, we're, I think we're gonna have to replace that speedometer. So yeah, someone else has incurred all the, the hard work and the expense of, of doing it. Um, she drives beautifully, really does. And as I say, I did over 100 miles in it yesterday, absolutely without, uh, without fault. So, hope you like it.